This is going to be probably the shortest video I ever made. And I've always said that, and then I do 15 minutes, but I'm basically going to cut this one real short. We're at, this is where it ends up at, okay? So we start the day at like whatever UTC time, like nine minutes or something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to play a little video of the flare over here, which is more than likely Venus, okay? Uh, and then you got Mercury up there. And this is from B, so they zoomed in real good. You see what I'm saying? So, and if we're... Now, folks, what I mean, why I did make the movie, okay, was because they left it out on the 13th, okay? How did I screw the movie up? Okay, and like I said, they didn't make one on the 13th, so here we go. You can see it in the right-hand side, flaring. Just pretty much like I was able to show you recently with the Earth. Everything's flaring towards the, doing a atmospheric flare towards the, and one more time, since I screwed up and did this thing, it's going to be flaring right down here. And then we'll go look at some of the green action from that force field. Of basically, it's just a shitload of energy that's coming off of uh, huge stars in the supergiants. And we'll see when that starts actually moving into the shots. So there you go. That looks should look pretty good. And actually, one more time, <laughs> I'm telling you what. When I said I think I screwed it up, yeah, I went back to show that hey, they didn't show the this shot on the 13th because they didn't want to see let you see this. Now, nasty, might as well just go ahead and put the 13th up so we can see it in the movie, or at least in the pictures. Because here's where it starts flaring. Okay, that should be Mercury up there. We figure. Either that or it doesn't matter. Now the comet went above Mercury and Venus, so basically, it's it. This could be something that's one of those planets that I'm showing you that's lower than Venus, that's doing the same electrical action. Now I'm going to also give you this one here and pop this down. This was the beginning of it. Pop this down to like 125.2 and show you this, the time and date. Yes, yeah, so this is where it started at. Okay, so this footage from the 16th, and let me go see get some of that green footage in here, and I. Played it back real fast and I screwed up again. So anyway, that's when it, when it ended flaring. What we that what the footage they gave us, and then the beginning of the footage was here. Okay, it was just starting up. So anyway, you got that. So let's go get some green. So I'll start in on the 30th of last month and we'll see what we got. Okay, I'll take the magnifier out if we see any energy. And basically, I'll hit play. Hopefully, it'll just play. I'm going to start looking at this more often for the CMEs coming off the sun, too. They look pretty good. You get some damn good looks at the CMEs coming off the sun. So I guess it plays that fast. So then basically what we're going to do is look for that energy. It normally comes in there. It kind of looks like I don't think we see anything here on the 30th. I want to nail it down to where it comes in. Now what I'm going to do, if I don't get anything on the 1st, I don't see anything spectacular like a CME or something like that. And I guess I can just drag it. Can I drag it? Should be able to drag it. Come on, baby. Come here, baby. Get over here. There we go. So, the only thing I can see is that there, but I don't think that's anything really. Because the energy is coming in from way out. Yeah, so I don't see any energy yet on the 30th. Okay, so let's go back to the first, and like I say, I'll skip days until... Now, folks, what I want to do is, I'm pretty sure what I wanted to show here is look at the kind of action. See, we should have the both same kind of action on the front and the back. And I'm starting to wonder, when did we start getting this action on this shot? Okay? Because, see, usually when they in the United States, when they show us the core B, they show us this, you know, inner area here, this kind of a shot right here, you see? So, I think this is A ahead, and I think this is B behind, and I'm not sure on that, if I'm right or wrong on that. But, one side of the sun is really getting some wild action, and the other side has got, you know, the real grainy action. So, there is definitely, and I don't know if that's unusual. See, these these shots are new to me, okay? 
So, one more last tap here at the end, and there you go. So, anyway, back. Now, that was the second, and this is the third. And I'm starting to wonder if we get hot here on having something coming in up there on energy. So, I'm tr trying to remember. I haven't had time to go watch the video. Is when did I get, when did we first see the energy coming in? I remember it was early in the video, so... And then I didn't know about the play button. I didn't, you know, wasn't... But anyway, no one's perfect, right? So now I'm getting a little bit of energy just starting to come in there. And anybody that's seen it before knows what we're talking about looking into that energy up there, because you're going to see it in a second. So we're going to go to the fourth, it looks like. Let's see if we get anything on the fourth. Nothing on the very end here, so we'll go to the fourth. So definitely, from what I can tell, it comes in on, and i got to wait for... I'm having a little bit of fun here trying to make this one here, because this is some really actual, factual... They all are. Every one of my videos is very actual, factual. As you can see right there, this energy starts coming in on the fourth. Okay? Uh, like I say, I apologize, because I've never really looked at these a lot before. Uh, I never knew I could see them so good. Uh, this is our German compatriots on the, the Sechi stuff over in, uh, because that's what the team over there works on this. So, I'm going to say hi to everybody, and especially, uh, even the, you know, all, everything that's involved with the, the Soho stuff, because it's awesome. NASA does a great job. I asked Ash, ancient NASA, who pulled, now this is the interesting thing here. Look at that. I just froze that, and we can get kind of like an energy coming in from here and also there at that time. So, is it our stars that I ended up showing you that basically, and I can pull up the map on the fourth here in a second. I'll pull the map up. But let me get the magnifier up on that. Because, see, I can't, now I won't be able to point. You know that. When I pull the magnifier up, I can't point because I can't magnify my page. But as you can see, there's some energy coming there. There was some energy there. And there's also a little bit of energy there. Actually, it's better on lower. Lower resolution down here is small. So we'll get rid of the magnifier for right now. But you can see a little bit of energy right there and right there. Energy waves. So I'll bring us the NASA map for... You see that? And then see when we get to the big energy... And then we'll see how long this sticks around. And we're going to go to the, the next... Ooh, wow, I never had that big of a blotch. See? So, and then I got a little bit... Maybe I can put in here, too. I'm going to put a video in here real fast. Of pretty much the same thing. And what I've always said, we're getting these marble roll marks on the back of the sun. And I'm starting to really wonder now. Is that just CME action? Or do we end up having something come up and go get way too close to the back of the sun and we get a lot of different energy you know, wow check that out I gotta zoom in on that I ain't gonna save any tape time here we go so I'm kind of nominally there right up there it ain't gonna get much better though it's just gonna be pixels so anyhow, let's get back up here real fast. Boom. The energy comes in on the fourth. And that comes in a little bit in there. You got some more. And there's some more. Because this is incoming to the sun. You see what we're saying? This is very interesting. See, you slow the movie down a lot. See, that energy comes in there, and then we'll just keep tapping. And there's a double shot of energy coming in. It's not energy going out. Wowzer. Check that out. 
And this is what I'm talking about, possible marbles up there are, are you know, I mean, this is huge. That would, if that is, that would be, this stuff here would be bigger than, but see, that looks like basically bling. That looks like our stars that I showed you, you know, and there's ton, mil, infinite amount of stars out in space. So they're doing some kind of electrical, and it's radioactive. And you can see those are huge stars that are doing the kabling kablam out there. I know enough to see a star signature when I see it from way the hell out. Yeah, that or we got two flipping huge objects. I don't think so. I think that's just star action. And then we got this energy coming in. So I'll keep tapping. Short video of my ass, huh? Now, and all the screw ups. So, now we gotta hurry up and try to get the six in here. But I just wanted to get a little bit more at the end again, seeing the energy, because. Look like I thought we got something even at the end there. So now hurry up and get the six in. Dip, 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 dip. Anyway, we know exactly pretty much when it's coming in and everything like that. Because now we're at the fifth. And that's what I was doing. Dip, 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 dip about. Now we already got some energy there at the beginning. Let's see how much more we get as we tap along here. Wow, there's some more. So we have definitely got something with a huge amount of energy. So we need to figure out, and NASA needs to start telling us, there's got to be, it's got to be a star. You see, that's got to be a star, and then it's not that damn far away from it. So what I'm really thinking is we got to hurry up, and i got enough time here tapping this. This was the fifth. And there's some more energy. Now, when you go full screen, you could start getting some intervals and see if anybody, if you can tell me of any kind of, it's, is it doing it every so many hours and stuff? Because you could put this on full screen and be watching it and watch tickers. Let's hurry up and get the six in here. So I'm going to be looking for the closest, because there's tons of energy coming in. We've got to find the closest star in the supergiants. And I'm going to have the map on that in just a second. Tap through here real fast. And you know, see, I could be missing some of this energy, but there's definitely more and more and more. So it, and it's solid in the same damn area. So, I don't even, a little bit more energy to the lower right came in there. And there's another blast. It seems like there's always a blast, and there's another one. So, energy coming in. Let's get a map. Okay, here's the factual actual HD12594. Okay, ends up being HIP9627. Okay. 6.6 .6 billion years main sequence life, okay? It's a super giant, you see? So I'm going to put sun up there too and see if this is... Uh, but anyway, see on that date and time, that was the one that was close by, okay? Because we're just checking the fourth. I got the fifth and sixth too, but I'm just worried about the fourth because I ain't got enough time left on the video, but I'm going to put this object in too. And that's what I already put in. That's what I just showed you the information on. And I don't know, that, that, that bugger. And then otherwise, the only other stuff you got is HD15453. And see, all I'm worried about is being on... Uh-oh, I screwed up. I got to be core. Hang on. So all we're worried about is the fourth because that's when it came in and we're on core. So now I got the correct map, Pisces, and that's everything. Everything in the circles in the window. So I got to zoom in on this stuff. This stuff was crossing Sun's path. M99, M99. We're not playing. And then this stuff in C71. And that's where that supergiant was hitting, basically lately. So let's get M99. Currently in constellation Cori Berenalis or something like that. Okay, it's a galaxy. So. Crossing a galaxy. Uh. So you have to ask somebody at NASA. I don't know if galaxy actually moves and goes travels through space there or not. I don't know if galaxy moves. A galaxy moves like that. I don't know if a galaxy moves. Okay. So uh, on the fourth, 
HD 94, 1872 light years, forget that, but look at the size. 